How's it looking in here? This trailer's got these weird door handles though, you know? Sitting just under 76,000 pounds gross, so we're, we're good to go. Good morning, internet family, all my friends out there, all around the world. How you doing this morning? Beautiful day here in Madison, Wisconsin. I gotta wait for a reload right now, but it looks like there's one in the works already. I'm gonna be picking it up, or leaving in about an hour to go pick it up in Milwaukee. I don't know where it's going yet, but it's probably going to Canada. Just finished unloading here. Uh, you saw that process in yesterday's video, if you didn't. Go to my uploaded videos and check out yesterday's video. How's it looking in here? Looking pretty good. Nice and empty. This trailer's got these weird door handles though, you know? Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Just weird. There. Different. So with the sun shining, just know it's gonna be a good day. It's Wednesday, right? Wednesday? Yes. Wednesday. All right, we are on our way to uh, the TA just down the road. I'm gonna do a little switcheroo there with the driver waiting for me. He's got a trailer that I need and I've got a trailer that he needs, so hey. I'm gonna help each other out. Switch it up. says exit. Well, it's an entrance now. We're at the TA. I think I'm gonna grab some breakfast here. I am starving. right on the, the edge of the lake, I guess you would say almost, like way in old downtown Milwaukee. I'm just gonna load me up with goods here and I'm gonna pull them on up to Winnipeg in Canada. Make sure that I'm all good to go in here. Looks good. So now we just gotta wait for them to load us up and we can make our way back. Got myself down here to pretty much downtown Milwaukee pretty tight getting into this neighborhood. I've noticed that these windows down here have no bars on them or anything. I mean, you could crawl right in there if you wanted to. Just an old building. So cool, I like it. Very old part of the city. Tell me that there is a weasel on board. Is there a weasel in here? Uh, there might have been. There might be. I'm not too sure. Why do you look guilty? What did you do? I look guilty because I really, really have to pee. 
And uh, I know you aren't supposed to really take me out right now. I can hold it if I have to, but I'd really like to go outside. All right, Diesel, one second here, one second. Got a, there you go, all right, come on. Don't tell anybody, okay? All right, let's take you, let's take you to go. Take you out. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, I've never been downtown Milwaukee before. I wanna sniff this pole, I wanna sniff this pole. What's it smell like? Okay, never mind, I wanna sniff the bush, okay. It's your bush now, Diesel. Your bush, so right out that way on the other side of these trees, a few blocks that way is the Great Lake, I think? Is it Lake Michigan? I love Milwaukee. It smells so good. It smells so good, all of it, all of it. You done? You done? Oh, you want to go explore in there a little bit? What are you going to do in there? Watch out for spiders, man. You better not bring them into the truck with you. Oh, dear. What are you doing? What are you doing back there? That's not very nice. So driving in here through this neighborhood, uh, it's probably not an area I would want to call home myself. Uh, I'm a little biased to the countryside, obviously, but even without that, even if I wanted to live in a city, I don't know if I would choose the inner city to live in myself. I've lived in the inner city of Winnipeg before and that may have sort of tainted my views of it. <laughs> I don't want to live in, a, in the middle of a city again. Too much commotion, too much traffic, sirens always going off, gunshots going off. I think I'll just stick with my quiet country life. You know what really makes my day? What really makes me smile? When you guys come and say hi to me when you see me on the road. I love that. I just had a very nice gentleman from Minnesota. I didn't ask him if he wanted to be mentioned or not, and he already left. Uh, but uh, a nice gentleman come and say hi to me at the window here. Downtown Milwaukee. It's like, hey, Trucker Josh, I watched your videos. I'm from Minnesota. I love it when you guys come and say hi to me. So if you do see me, come say hi. It really uh, brightens my day. Sometimes I'm having a down day. I don't always show it on the vlogs, but I have down days too. I have, uh, I have bad days. Today wasn't necessarily one of those days. I was feel, feeling pretty good already, but on those down days when uh, someone comes up and says hi to me and says, hey, I've seen you on the internet or just chat or whatnot, you know, really lifts me up and uh, really makes me feel sort of more connected to you guys out there. Because sometimes the reason I feel down is because I, I feel so alone on the road, right? Like it's, I guess, uh, intimate confession from Trucker Josh right now. I, all of us drivers struggle with that, so I know it's not something that's just weird or strictly you know me but there's times on the road where you're far away from everybody i got the weasel so he makes it a lot easier already but uh hey you never know when you'll brighten someone's day just by saying hi it's just a wave shake their hand or something so thank you to the gentleman who came and said hi to me uh there was also a gentleman who said hi to me in fargo the other day uh there's a couple in canada I'm sorry I don't mention it every time you guys come and say hi to me. Uh, I don't want to be constantly talking in every video like, hey, look at these people recognizing me, recognizing me, because it's not about that. It's not about being recognized. I have no desire to be famous, believe me. I, I've seen what fame does to people. Uh, it, it takes away their private life. It, it's very, what do you call that again? Intrusive when you get famous, too famous. It's not my desire on YouTube. I just want to share my life. Uh, the side effect of that is when I go around the continent here, people sometimes recognize me and I think that's pretty cool. Just pulling out of the dock right now. I'm pretty heavy. I didn't know this load was going to be so heavy. Not that it's a problem. I can handle it. I gotta go and close the doors. Walk on down to the back here, see what the load looks like. See if I need to do any extra securing. Get these doors closed sitting here on a little bit of a slant so i don't know if these doors are going to line up properly sometimes i've got to be on perfectly level ground for it to work yeah i'm gonna have to mess around with this oh, all right so this is what we're hauling here rolls of cardboard paper yeah that's gonna be heavy I bet you this is about 40 to 42,000 pounds worth of paper right here. Sneak that right in there like that. And slip that in there. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. It's hard to do one-handed. I know, no excuses. I'm Trucker Josh. 
You're supposed to know how to do this. <laughs> okay, I need to pull the hands for this. There we go. Sealed. Done. We won't make it all the way to Canada today yet. I'm hoping to make it to Fargo, North Dakota, or Grand Forks. We shall see. We'll see what fate has in store for us. You know what I mean? I'd like to get to, well, I guess Fargo. I'd be happy with Fargo. I have nine and a half hours available for me to drive. It's about 13 hours up to my destination in Winnipeg. About 12, 11 and a half to 12 to the border. Fargo, I'm thinking. Fargo, North Dakota. Let's see how close I am in my estimate. I think we'll make it to Fargo. Gonna weigh ourselves here and make sure we're not too heavy. Wouldn't want to get a ticket now. First way or you went? First way. What's your truck number? I always shut off my truck so they can hear me better inside. Sometimes it's hard for them to hear the drivers and what we're telling them when our truck is idling out here. All right, so I'd rather get scaled now and pay the, what is it, $13, whatever it is now. In Canada, it's $17 already for a cat scale. Ridiculous. But uh, I'd rather pay this money and then get reimbursed, obviously, uh, than have to pay a scale ticket and not get reimbursed for that. I don't think I get reimbursed for a scale ticket. I've never gotten one, but I don't think they would because it's my responsibility to make sure that the truck is legal for the highway, you know what I mean? It's safe to operate. Where am I supposed to park here? Turn right on alley, then turn right. There is no alley here. I wanted a coffee anyways. Just so happened that they had a cat scale here. I didn't realize this was even here before I pulled in. Got my scale ticket here, my coffee, and a fruit parfait, a yogurt parfait. So this is the Pinecone Travel Center. Here in, uh, what is it, Jackson Creek, Wisconsin, something like that. Nice little town. So here's my scale ticket. Remember, on my steer axle, I'm allowed 12,000 pounds, so that's good. And the drive and trailer axles, I'm allowed 34,000 pounds on each. Sitting just under 76,000 pounds gross. So we're we're good to go. I'd Like I said, I'd rather, I've said it before, I'd rather have the heavier weight of the drive and trailer axles on the drive axle. I do have to fuel up a little bit yet, so that'll even that out a bit, but remember, I always like to carry the weight instead of pulling the weight. So just a little tip for you new drivers out here. Uh, if you want a smoother ride, try to get your drive axles behind your truck heavier than your trailer axles if you have that option. Uh, you don't have to legally. I mean, I'm not gonna change this, whatever. I'm just going up to Manitoba one day's drive, but if it was too big of a difference, I would feel a big kick every time I'd go over a bridge or over a bump. Uh, the truck would go over pretty smooth and then the weight that would be on the trailer axles would kick me and pull me over every big bump. Or, you know, we call it donkey kicking. It would donkey kick you. Uh, so what you want to do is slide your axles back if you can so that more of the weight is on your truck and then much smoother ride, much smoother ride tips with Trucker Josh. Take note, you won't get many of these. Buddy, we made it to the rest area near Alexandria, Minnesota. So we didn't quite make it to Fargo, North Dakota. But in my defense, I could have. I had the hours and I could have, but I didn't want to. Because I'm five and a half hours away from home right now, I'm about two hours away from Fargo. I can do it tomorrow, whatever. I'm going uh, back to the yard tomorrow anyways. I don't know if they uh, got another load lined up for me or if I'm going home tomorrow after I get back to the yard, but we're headed back up there tomorrow. On Five and a half hours I'll be there. I can get rolling at 9, 15, 9 30 tomorrow morning. 15, 11, 12, 1, 2. I should be home before supper tomorrow if I am going home. But anyways, thanks for joining me today. 
Yesterday's video is gonna pop up right here. Other links down here. If you wanna see past vlogs of mine, what I was doing on this day up to four years ago, when I was much younger and maybe better looking or less good looking, you be the judge. Down below in this video, uh, there's links to past vlogs of mine, my Facebook, Twitter, everywhere you can find me online is down there. Go check it out. Have a great night.